Hey, what's up? This is Jordan from Postmark Support, and I'm here to help you get started using your Postmark account. Step one, create your account. First things first, let's create a shiny new Postmark account. Head on over to postmarkapp.com and click the blue start free trial button. There you can tell us a bit about yourself and sign up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't forget to check your inbox for the account verification email. Once signed up, you'll be brought to your Postmark account's first server. Think of servers as sub-accounts or folders, ways to organize your different sending by environment, whether that be by project, departments in your organization, or different clients you're sending on behalf of. You can also create sandbox servers, an environment for you to test Postmark's API and SMTP sending functionality and see how we process mail. In sandbox servers, we deliver all your test messages to a black hole. We don't ever send any actual email to the recipient. Plus, you can generate fake bounces, so you can see how a bounce appears within Postmark's UI and test our bounces API and webhooks. There's no limit and no extra charge to the number of servers that you can create within your Postmark account, so go bonkers! Each server has its own specific templates and API tokens, and in the Settings tab you can change the server's name and label color. Color has no effect on the actual server itself. Within a server, you'll find three default message streams. Message streams can be used to separate your sending and statistics even more within a server. One-off emails, like password resets or order confirmations, can be sent through your transactional message stream. Fully opted in bulk messages, like newsletters and announcements, can be sent through your broadcast message stream. And if you plan on processing inbound messages, well, you guessed it, that happens in your inbound message stream. You can create more transactional and broadcast message streams within a server as needed. Feel free to click the link above to learn more about how to use and set up message streams. Each message stream will have its own statistics, activity, suppressions, webhooks, and setup instruction tabs, as well as a settings tab where you can rename the stream or archive the stream if it's no longer needed. And you can switch between message streams quickly using this drop down menu. Fancy. Note, your new account is automatically placed on our free developer plan, which allows you to send up to 100 test emails each month for free. To start using that free plan, you'll need to complete our quick approval process, which can be started at any time via these blue request approval buttons. Step two, sender signatures. A sender signature is an email address that you'll use in the from field when sending a message through Postmark. The email address you signed up with will already be added to the sender signatures tab. To set up a different sender signature email address, click the blue add domain or signature button and then choose the send from a single email address on a domain option. Provide the required details and click Create Signature. A confirmation email will be sent to that email address's inbox. Once confirmed, you can use that specific email address as your from address for your messages sent through Postmark. Step 3. Verifying a domain. Verifying a sending domain means you can send from any email address using that domain, and you get the added deliverability benefits of sending from a DKIM verified domain. To set that up, click the blue Add Domain or Signature button, select the Add Domain option, and enter the domain. Or if you've already added your domain, just click the DNS Settings link to get started. On the domain's DNS Settings page, you'll find the DKIM record to add to your domain's own DNS provider settings. To help, we've created some videos that show how to add a DKIM record to popular DNS providers that you can find by searching via the green Help pop-up tool. I host my domain through GoDaddy, and in this example you can see how easy it is to add that DKIM record to my GoDaddy DNS settings. I simply set up a new TXT record within my GoDaddy's DNS settings and copy over the host name and value generated from within Postmark. Once it's verified within my Postmark account, I can now use any email address of that domain for sending. We also suggest setting up a custom return path for your domain. Not only can a custom return path aid in better deliverability, but it also lets you pass DMARC's more strict SPF alignment requirements. To set this up, you'll be adding a new CNAME record in your DNS provider settings, seen here in this example. Check out our in-depth videos for more help with this process. Step 4. Sending with Postmark. Now it's time to make all the necessary changes in your code so you can start sending through Postmark. Within your Postmark account, click on the server and then the message stream that you'd like to send through. On the Setup Instructions tab, you'll find all the necessary information needed for sending, whether you'll be using one of our official API libraries or sending via SMTP. There are also many community-supported client libraries available as well. Information on our supported libraries can be found at postmarkapp.com developer. Step 5. Let us help! You're now ready to get on out there and start sending some sweet email through Postmark. And don't forget, if you run into any questions at all, simply use this nifty green help pop-up tool on any page within your Postmark account. 
There, search through hundreds of in-depth help documents or send us an email or chat message. We're more than happy to help. Thanks, y'all, and happy sending.